why don't you think aliens have been here yet? You don't think it's cool enough here? We got Six Flags. We got titties. Why wouldn't they visit? Do you think they give a fuck about Six Flags? They can f themselves in their brains. <laughs> <laughs> we're in. What is it? Huh? I just said, currently we're doing a podcast? Current, I was trying to, then you cut me off. Oh, oh fighting, <laughs> fighting up top. Like a married couple. What is it about bad bitches loving dill pickles? What, is it, you know what, what did you just say to me? Bad bitches love dill pickles. I think they just I think they just like the fucking salt. Come. Mm, I don't Hold know. Up. Problem you solved. Know what I mean? Myth We're busters. done. No, but you ever I feel like all the girls that I see that are posting on Instagram, they're like, I just love a good classic pickle. And I'm like, you're hot. Yeah. How do, do I audition for that pickle? You could. Oh. Is that? I, I mean, don't know. There is something hot about a, a lady. Obviously, this is a very obvious statement. A girl putting something phallic in their mouth, and something that's kind of like a, a bit al dente, so it ha kind of has like a penis wiggle to it. Right, but that's I'm talking. Hot. Okay, I hear that. But uh -huh. what about the spears, like the little triangle tubes? What? Oh, those the spears, circumcised pickles. Wow. Oh no, the spears the one they they cut the the. Yeah, they cut it in like fours, so it's like you know spears. It's like little. Watermelon pieces, but not watermelon and a pickle. Are do you like pickles? I love them. They're I'm phenomenal. a bad bitch. You are, here's but, the thing. But you Go know ahead. this about me. I don't like what? cucumbers, and no. I didn't know until I was 22 that a cucumber and a pickle were the same thing. But how, but I don't understand. How do you? It's like the the texture is almost the same. It's like less. It's too hard. Doesn't add value. It adds cons not consistency. It adds like context. Or uh, what am I? My mom always word? says that. Like I hate bean sprouts. Uh, no. cucumbers. Fire. Uh, jicama. What the uh, hell is celery? Hickama? I don't know. Dude, but my, my mom always just goes, she goes, it just, it adds crunch. Well, yeah. No. It does. You know what else does? Fried onions. Yep. <gasps> potato Those chips. Are potato chips. Whoa. Those are poor people's fried onions. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you put go. you put them on uh, sandwiches? Yeah. Whoa. Doritos on a sandwich is great. Cool ranch. I never tried that. That sounds fine. You ever Doritos on a sandwich? No, no, no. What the Suck hell is wrong off. with you? Dude, you I've never been swimming and put a Dorito on a sandwich? I keep cutting you off. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> the tables have turned. You never put Doritos, Cool Ranch on a sandwich? No, I do like a, like a barbecue chip. Hell yeah. Michael Blaustein is doing stand-up comedy. He is on tour. Where is Michael Blaustein going to be? Guys, this weekend, I'll be in Tempe, Arizona, the 8th to the 10th. Five freaking shows. Tickets are going fast, so get your tickets right now if you are in Tempe, Arizona. Shows are going to be a goddamn blast. September 22nd, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. Boo. September 23rd, I will area. be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. October 7th, I will be in Los Angeles. Guys, all crowd work show. The tickets are flying. There's only 45 tickets, so go get them right now. Um, October 16th, I'll be in Denver, Colorado. Super excited about that show. Um, October 20th, I'll be in Honolulu, uh, Hawaii, trying to get laid by my girlfriend. Guys, October 20th, Honolulu. Uh, November 2nd, I'll be in Houston. Houston, Texas. November 3rd, I'll be in Dallas, Texas. Way more dates coming very, very soon. Go to BlauComedy.com. BlauComedy.com for tickets. Mr. Wallace. Trevor Wallace Comedy on tour. I'm going to be in my hometown, Oxnard, California. Boo, boo. Dude, September 16th through the 18th. Friday, through Sunday, five shows. Let's go. Uh, pull up. I'm eating rolling pin donuts on stage and I'm gluten free <laughs> and I'll shit everywhere. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale, Florida, September 30th, Charleston, South Carolina, October 1st, Asheville, North Carolina, October 2nd, Phoenix, Arizona, October 8th, San Francisco, October 15th, Houston, Texas, November 4th through the 6th, Grand Rapids, November 11th, Indianapolis, November 12th, Cleveland, November 13th, Salt Lake City, November 18th, Boulder, and Fort Collins is going to be December 8th and 9th, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, uh, those are in December, we got New Haven also in December, and Atlantic City and Red Bank, New Jersey as well in December, go to TrevorWallsComedy.com, the show's been awesome, um, I've just been having fun with it, so come on out, uh, TrevorWallsComedy.com. I'm George Bush. Gabe, splat. I turned into a total Pringles guy. Everyone fight me. I've witnessed it firsthand. It, they're fuck, dude. They come in so many different. The, the variety is endless. Pizza, yeah. Oh yeah. Ranch, yeah. Barbecue, yeah. And they have like weird different types of barbecue now. Dude, really? I'll kick a raccoon. Mesquite. I love them. <laughs> uh, Goldfish does it too. They got like the pizza blaster flavor. Oh yeah. yeah. Fire. Those are good. Yeah. Those are sleepers. Dude, have you tried the up? Because they, they have the regular goldfish. They're like, oh, these are cute. And then they have the, hey, you want more goldfish flavored? You know what? Whoa, no. You know what the best thing there is? Back in my uh, non-gluten-free days, back when I was a fucking man, huh. uh, is the extra toasted Cheez-Its. Why did it get so what? quiet? Because I don't know Why what you're talking about. Why did it get so about? quiet? They have, extra, they, they have like burnt Cheez-Its. Like extra. 
No, I get it. Well done, Cheez-Its. Somebody agree with me. There's four I've fucking never, people in this I, goddamn room. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know what? Gabe, pull yeah, it up. We got a TV for a fucking reason. Yes. They look you pretty can, good. Dude, you can what? buy them like extra toasted. People in listening know. What the hell is wrong Why with do you? people like find a cheetah that looks like Jesus and sell it for $30,000? <laughs> because they, they don't have a life and they work a cricket wireless. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that's the way out. What is this? This is the perfect puffed Dorito for $17,000. Please tell me it has zero bids on it. Please tell me that someone... Bu- imagine, more dipping people watching. imagine dipping into your son's college account to be like, but son, it's a perfect Dorito. Do you think the Fuck person, that, State, think the person who's going to buy those has a son? That this he knows of? No. This person hasn't seen a person in like 11 years. The person's going to bid but, for But it. there's always some shit like that. You know, 17K. it's a Cheeto that's shaped like a Ford F-350. That's not the perfect puff. This is... What is... Ugh, this is... There's four watches in the last 24 hours. Look there's at their four hands. motherfuckers just rubbing their hands like this Would you want it. it from that hand? Oh! Coal miner. Oh my god. They work in the, in the, in the coal. Oh. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I he say. looks like he's been but jerking it, off with ink. But it only sells well if it uh true. Uh it only sells True! Laugh! <laughs> <Less. laughs> <laughs> it's like every time we show each other a stand-up clip and we yeah. go, Yeah, that's funny. Oh, really? Because no. your, your nostrils didn't once go. I need a giggle. Yeah. You know what type of laugh I hate? You know the laugh you go, ha, 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 ha. That last one? The, no. Uh, don't like it. That's how boomers talk. They kind of laugh and then just pitter out every time. Have you, know, you noticed in so porn hurt. that everyone laughs? What? Why porn? the fuck is this funny? In porn? Everyone. Every girl. <laughs> Why? Nothing's funny here. Suck my cock. <laughs> <laughs> but have you noticed? It's crazy. Once I noticed, it like it's, it's ruining porn? a bit. Everyone is laughing. The dude's not. But ev- like, if there's is two it like women, flirty though. It's like, it's oh, a- ha ha, who's Jill Pickles? That <laughs> <laughs> classic. That should be a commercial. Kalana could be a bag. Kalonic? That's got to be a problem. Kalonic? Kal- what is it? Kalas could be bag. Classic. Classic pickles. Is that Kalana it? bag. Kalosic. I have no idea what either of you guys are saying. <laughs> Kalosic pickles. Velocic. Velocic. Velocic raptor. Velociraptor. All right. <laughs> you. Raptor. Velocic. Velocic. What yeah. did I say? Velocic. All right. And then what's what am I trying to say? Kalaska be bag. Uh, Kalanica be bag. That's where you put a wine bag in your stomach and you go to the bathroom in it. Yep. If if you if the hottest girl in the entire world. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, if she had that? If she just had a colostomy. If she was like perfect, but she was like, I have a weird thing. I have I actually, my bladder's on the outside of myself. You're yeah. fine with it. So you're at, you're at the beach and someone's like, that's an Oracle way. Like, ask my girlfriend. She's still hot. Is she? She has a Jan sport coming out of her fucking ribs. <laughs> yeah. Hotness and personality can make you forget about a lot of stuff. There's this lady on TikTok, bad. But she got like little, like little T Rex arms, and and it doesn't to me. I don't even see it. They, they were told those so, uh, showed a video of her like at a Home Depot. Yeah, cause she has normal feet, and that's all you give a shit about. God damn! Hold up. Yeah, bring, bring her, her up. up. What? Bring her up. Do you know her name? That's not oh, what, what is I that? G- it's always a Jesus oh. Christ shaped Dorito. Yeah, that or was Cheeto. Fifteen grand. That's not even. That looks more what like Bigfoot that? than it does Jesus. Yeah, that's a Jesus Christ shaped Cheeto. That's not extra Jesus. Hot. That looks like a lobster. I don't. That really does look like a lobster, like a lot. What whoa, Jesus? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa bottom whoa, left looks the like a cock. There? Dude, there's a penis shaped hot Cheeto for seven fifty. What the hell? We could get it with it's PayPal so credit. It's so funny. You can use PayPal credit, so you're paying thirty three dollars for twenty four months for a fucking cock Cheeto. What are you doing? See, here's the thing. If I was super rich, I'd buy that and then do OnlyFans and then ship it to the girl that I loved and say, "Put that in you." That's what I'd do. You lost me. All right, I'll reset. <laughs> <laughs> These they're selling from Warren, Ohio. So from where? Warren, Ohio. Here's the thing: there should be a war in Ohio. War. Or Just a joking. War rent. I'm going there soon. <laughs> Are you where? Uh, it's in 2023. Who knows? All right, long pause. <laughs> Um, you you were fucking traveling this weekend. You were, I was. You're out being a mountain man, drinking on piss, bear grills and shit. Dude, I was bear grills in it. I I went to Seattle with the old lady, mm-hmm. Pacific Northwest, pussy. Yeah. What direction is that? I honestly, Pacific. Don't know. Yeah, it's it's you know Seattle. I went, that, uh, but that like you where you went wasn't Seattle. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's Seattle. That's like outside. It was like the first hike. Yes, I said the first hike because we went on two. They were both nine Whoa. miles each. Shoot me in the face. 
Nine yeah, I, miles. I saw the photos. You look kind of dead inside. No, no, no. It was. No, uh, you look kind of like. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. No, no. I'm gonna be honest. I was. I was not. Cause my girl's a big hiking lady, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I am not. Okay. My idea of vacation is to uh, go to the beach and sit down. I mm-hmm. like to feel like recharged, not devastated. Right. You like, cause right now I feel good, but I'm tired. Like oh, going yeah. on all those hikes. Like I'm, I'm tired. Yeah. Um, vacations work. They do. You gotta, I, you gotta. It's a, it's a thing. It's it, planning. There's no chill. No, but for me, I don't want that. I just want to go and I just want to sit down on yeah. the beach. And drink a margarita and drink forget a daiquiri about. and yell about Matthew McConaughey. Exactly, just chase fucking pigeons around. That's what I'd like yeah. to do. That sounds fun. What to is me. it about kids seeing a flock of birds? And be like, well, time to ruin what the fuck y'all got going on. hundred. Yeah, we never think about it with the birds. <laughs> they're just like, bitch, I'm just trying to hang out. I'm looking for worms. Maybe they're on vacation. Maybe are birds always on vacation? Like seagulls, them bitches seagulls. Are always beach bumps. They always on vacation. What's a bird that's homeless besides a uh, pigeons? Are pretty homeless. Crows. Right? I don't know, dude. I saw a crow one time. It looked like it had something to do. Crows are massive. Crows look like they're looking for revenge. 100%. Like they look like they're always on a Grand Theft Auto mission, just like looking for a guy named Tony, just being like. Yeah. I think yeah. They're, they're gonna, they always look like they're going to eat my firstborn. Probably. They look, they look uh, devilish. Intimidating. <clears throat> Anyways. Hike. So, hike. So, she goes, let's go on a hike. I said, cool. And all these hikes that she planned are like, they're not hikes. Dude, you have a walking stick. Son, I had to bring... I had to go to REI and buy boots. Guys, did you hear what I said? I had to go to REI and buy fucking hiking boots because she took me on a hike before in Seattle and I just had gym shoes like a normal fucking East Coast person. Right, right. And I was furious because I couldn't... I had no grip. I was... It was... I was... Oh, I was, when you slip walking down hill, oh. you feel like a bitch. Dude, there, uh. was, there was snow. The hike when snow. I when I had fucking you're, I had literally had Nikes it's on. It's 105 degrees outside today, and there was snow in Seattle. Sure, go up in the mountains. There's still snow, snow. Mm. So, anyways, when I went to REI like a couple days ago. Got uh, dude, I got the whole thing. I was like, oh, I saw. Yeah, now, I saw the photo, and I was like, what? Where is this man? I know what is happening. I don't know. We went from foot jobs in Phoenix to fucking <laughs> getting footed out in REI. The growth Bro. on this man is exponential. Bro. I think you need you? to take your girlfriend and be like. <laughs> Thank you. But also, you're welcome. I'm a better man. Yeah. Also, that DM that you sent me, you know how sometimes people like go, ha ha, I'm laughing. And and you are, but I was crying. Oh, really? Dog, I, I read it in the car. We were driving back. I couldn't tell my girl what I was laughing it's at so funny. for like two minutes. Right. I was literally by the, cr- by the time crying. you tell it, it, they're like, that's what you were laughing so Correct. hard over? But it caught me. The foot jobs in Phoenix to this period growth, all all caps period. I it just it's just because we have so much like history, you and I together, yeah, and like yeah. so much like I know exactly what you're talking about. It, I was fucking cry- like I, I you made me laugh a lot for that. I have to thank you. I was of crying. Course, thank dude. You. Well, dude, it threw me off. I was somewhere in fucking Wisconsin, <laughs> and I'm just tapping through stories, and I was like, I whenever I'm not here. Yeah. I just assume that you're off doing shows yeah. or you're off doing a tour or something. And I tap it. I was like, where? Th- I didn't know you were out of town. I was like, where yeah. the fuck is this guy? Is yeah. Everglades? Mm-hmm. Is yeah. He, is he- I, was, I was in Seattle. Went to this hike called the Enchantments. Let me back up. I went to REI. Who the fuck goes to REI? Not Dad, me. I've 100%. seen, dude, this REI in Santa Monica. I've driven past it at like 9.50 a.m. And they open at 10. There's dads posted up tailgating in REI. Anything that gets you away from your family. I think that's what it is. Hikes? They go, oh, I'm going on a hike. How long? 28 miles. Are you going to come back? No. On a bike? No. I'm walking. Heelys. Minimum. <laughs> Anyways, REI, I'm in there. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I walked up late. I'm going, I'm going on a hike. She goes, where? I go, bitch, I don't know. Yep. In Seattle. I don't know. So she got me these boots. First of all, Settling down in Seattle. It's Heidel. But no. that sounds like a wholesome. That'd be like on Hallmark for sure. Yeah. Oh, the fuck's oh. Hallmark's whole thing. Like, yeah, you want a shitty movie that you think is about to be a porn but never is? That's all it is. Hallmark is just edging <laughs> HBO softcore. Bring in a cock. <laughs> <laughs> like, bring in a cock. <laughs> One or two. I think I need two. Oops, I tripped. Cock my ass. Can you imagine? Just imagine right now, two cocks just going like, like it's like one cock and 
women have so many holes. Mm -hmm. Like, have you ever seen one of those porns that there's just dicks everywhere? Like, two. How do you ambidextrous? I'm always thinking about like in a gangbang situation. Like, what is she thinking about, or is it just a pleasure thing? Tetris. <laughs> it's pretty much Tetris. But do you think she's ever like, oh fuck, my car payment's late? Or do you 100%. ever think she's like, what am I gonna eat after this? Oh uh, yeah, no, but but I guess it's a sexual brain, so you're not like. I don't even know what you think about during sex. Um, sex. Yeah, I always just wonder, like, because there are moments. Do you ever get lost? Do you ever like, like in life or sex? Well, I mean, we're all lost in life. You know what I mean? Whoa. And you know who's gonna find us? That Jesus. So this is what I want to tell you about As the a Lord. Hot Cheeto. Yeah, I mean, I, so there's moments very like few and far between where I like start thinking about like my to do list. But generally, I'm locked in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It seems like your brain is on, uh, you know, when your iPhone does a recharge, like a reset, like it's yeah. still on, but it's just like one mode, mm -hmm. kind of that. You know what we should ask? We're freaking uh, this Patreon. We're going to ask uh, Stella Berry, Anal a.k.a. Princess. Anal Princess. Yeah, she's coming on the Patreon this week. Dude, and she's going to have all the answers. So I'm excited to ask her because if anyone knows about what we're talking about, Anal Princess will. Wow. Anal yeah. laws when you're drinking claws. I don't give a fuck. I'll keep saying that. Anal the, laws? It's the funniest thing I've ever well, said. Well, I remember like maybe two years ago, back when we used to record this podcast in my apartment, there, we, we looked up a video of a girl pouring a white claw in her ass. That's, and she didn't get a cease and desist? She didn't. She, she actually got, got a yeast infection, but... A hundred percent. Can you get your pussy drunk? Yes. Oh. You put alcohol on a tampon or you put it in your ass oh, here right. or anywhere. I think both. Funny if somebody just puts like, you know, tampon soaked and vodka up their nose. I'm like, what? It smells like I'm drunk. It smells like you need help. I mean, that's literally had COVID started. Wet marks. So what I was going to say is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating, dude. It's hot in here. Um, REI. Yeah. REI. You told me you're going on a hike. Hike. They first of all, they point Did, out shoes. All too much. Hiking shoes. How much shoes. were they? It's <laughs> funny, you gotta spend money to look at Earth. It's also funny you that you idiot. <laughs> I'm dumb. You spent money to go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> better than Instagram. It is better than Instagram. No, it's not. No, I hear you. It's the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I did that when I was in Canada. There's a place called Banff. You look at it online, you're like, this is cool. Then you see it and you're like, God, why is it so blue? Yeah. It and is, then, you, yep, there it is. It is crazy. God damn. So you probably heard about microdosing. Uh, and if not, oh. just know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better. Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel the right amount of good, man. And they really do taste and feel amazing. I've used them to help me get in the zone, yep. touch myself, Whoa. do creative work. Which is touching night. yourself. Yeah, I create something. <laughs> right. uh, but to chill out, sleep like a baby, all around, they're 10 out of 10 for me. I've said this 100 times, but every single time I do THC, it's too much, bro. Am do I the THC. Yeah, do it. I'm a narc. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I do the THC, I'm like, am I a water buffalo? Am I a snail? I don't know. I'm too freaking high. I'm a giraffe. I like to be just medium amount of high, dude, so I can still focus, still read, still touch myself, see all that stuff that I want to do to get off my to-do list. So I really enjoy microdose gummies because it's the right amount of freaking THC, okay? Mm -hmm. And well, you're probably asking me right now, you're like, wow, Michael, all this sounds good, but like, where the hell do I get them? I'll tell you, dude, microdose is available nationwide, dude. Nationwide, that means the whole nation, which is the wide, okay? To learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com and use code SOCKS. SOCKS. Free shipping and 30% off your first order. That is a lot, dude. 30% okay. off your first order and free shipping? Yep. Damn. That's crazy, dude. You know it's not microdose? Huh. This deal, it's the full dose. 30%, great deal. Ooh. Links can be found in the show description below or easy website in the world, microdose.com. Use promo code SOCKS at the checkout. God damn. What's that? You hear that? What's that? That's the sound of a hard cock. Wow. Which I have. Well, can I get it? Sure. Thank you. And it's in my hand right now. <laughs> wow, that's small. Guys, but how did you get this small cock so hard? I'll say it again. How did you get this small cock so hard? I'll tell you, man, bluechew.com. What's bluechew? I'll tell you what bluechew is, dude. It's a chewable tablet that has the same active ingredients as Cialis and Viagra, Viagra dude. It's incredible. Okay. But in a chewable tablet, yep. in a form, in a fraction of the cost. <laughs> you can take it anytime, daytime, nighttime, lunchtime, um, even peanut butter and jelly time. So you can really just <laughs> take it 
Whenever, but you're like, well, why would I take it in the morning? It'll be fucking rocked up at my 10 a.m. meeting. No, it only kicks in when you're horned up. Which is great. Yeah. Which is great because yeah. it's like you don't know when you're about to. We don't know when you're about to pop off. You have no idea. So it's nice to take it in the morning. You're like, all right, when am I going to pop off? It works instantly. It is incredible. Um, and also, dude. You don't got to go to like CVS or some right no. in and be like, hey, listen, listen, I even a Delta cock. You don't have to do that. No. Okay. It delivers right to your door, discreet packaging. So it's incredible. Um, they've been a big sponsor of the podcast since day one. They are an amazing company. So go try it. And how much is that? How much do you think well, it is well, to try? Well, I think what you're not hitting on is it's great for the round two stamina too. Buddy. You're like, oh, hard cock. I don't need that. I get rocked up by the breeze touching my penis. Uh huh. That's fine. This is that round two stuff, you know? Yeah. And that's where we got to all use a little help. But you know where you don't need help is what? in your wallet because Whoa. it's literally free. You just have to pay for the shipping. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Your first month is free. How much is it though? $5 in shipping. Whoa. But the first month is free. Free. Use promo code SOCKS at bluechew.com. Promo code SOCKS. Uh, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the. Comcast. God damn. REI bought boots for How much too, were they? too much. How much were you they? You want to guess? 125. More. Yeah. You could have bought some Jordans. 100%. Why didn't you just go hiking in some Jordans? Because I would have been slip sliding all the places. But he would have looked set. chill. I would have looked cool uh, as shit. 200. Yes. For hiking Pissed. boots? $200. And this is what You could have bought me. one Yeezy foam. Uh, yeah. One. Just a left foot. Dude, people with one leg have it made. Just one shoe? But what do you do with the other one? Just sell it? Oh, yeah. Can you just buy one shoe? Yeah. You have to be able to. Maybe like you have to. Well, you buy two and then you post a line. Yo, I got a left foot. Who got a right foot? Can you buy two rights? Uh, Probably not. Yeah. I don't know about legally. <laughs> you got to go down to Chinatown and be like, let me get those J's, but two rights. It is really funny that in Chinatown, they just, well, just in China in general, they make everything that we make, but they, they, but it's all fake. And they're like, well, this is not a thousand dollars. This is $11. Oh, I love it. When it's Gucci, but three C's in it. I'm like, whoa, clearly that's Gucci. But that's the wild thing. It's like, that's why it's just all branding. It's, it's not nicer. Right, 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 it's not right. nicer. Right. It just has a friggin' LV on it. We're like, whoa, stupid. Louis Vuitton. I went to REI. You spent $200, $200 on boots on that you boots. will never wear again. Why That's didn't you wear them today? I was going to. You should return with them. Big, like, I didn't use them. They're well, here, just caked up. Here's avalanche. the problem. Here's the most Jew thing I've ever done. I actually bought used hiking boots. They you know, sell used hiking boots? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the, in, the, in the clearance section, whatever, they have boots that like were returned. Like they're clearance? Open, they're like open box boots. Open box boots. <laughs> open box boots. And I went there oh, and I went God. to the section and I was like, bet. I want these. Still two hundred dollars. Hiking boots are dumb. But, but what are they, why are they two hundred dollars? What are they, what's the difference? They got a little more fucking little that grip. I'm gonna be honest. That, it yes, definitely more grip. Um, but they're like grip, waterproof. They're like ankle support, and they have like a bunch of like shock absorbers because when you're hiking, dude, especially like the nine mile ones, like mm -hmm. you're going up. This bitch down. got a box spring in it. Uh, pretty much. Um, no, it, but, I, I know. And but you want like who up hike down? Are yelling, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, like we went from like. 3,000 feet ev uh, elevation. Jesus. Uh, what's the word? Elevation. Thank you. Up to like 6,000. So like you're going, we're going up and down. It was, it was a lot. Nine yeah. miles. Um, anyway, so I got, oh, oh, dude, I got pants. I got I, the zip up ones. Bro, you're a whole Boy. fake. Can we just look up a photo? I can literally just airdrop. Yeah, just airdrop it to me. The photo that. Uh, oh yeah. I need to dissect the fit. I need to oh, see okay. the fit check. I need to believe it because it looked like you, you spent a bag for some. I, for a fit. Well, here's here's why I spent a little bit of money because I knew how much I hated that last hike because I wasn't geared out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie, guys. Like, some people are going to hate on me. I think I look hot as shit. Like, I think I look like I can eat a pine cone out of a pussy. No problem. Like, I think I could, like, finger, like, a like a raccoon and a gerbil. Like, at the, I think, like, I could eat my own shit, and I know which parts of the shit I could eat to survive. I think I could pee on wood and know how to make a fire off that. Like, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, I keep this going. Like, I could turn a Pop-Tart into a boat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the man. Look man. at that. You wouldn't trust me to, to, to lead you to the new world? First of all, you look I look like, Jack, dog. You look more like a firefighter than anything, really. Yeah, you I'm look fighting. like a firefighter on his day off. <laughs> <laughs> but like you wore your firefighter pants and then yeah. you took the kids out um and this zip box? you Can do someone... jacked. thank you i look kind of what, what did that that stick wasn't doing anything son i'm gonna be honest yes it was no it wasn't sir that's an antenna no it listen when you you don't realize how like if you're going up that 
what's the word? Evelation? Uh, elevation. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Elevation. 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 Elevator. Elevation. When you're going up that, like, you don't realize how much, like, how much glute work because it's a step up, step up. Glute work. So if you take the if you take the stick and and use your arms too, so you're taking weight off that leg, pushing your whole body up. It really helps. Now, how much of this ensemble did you buy at REI, REI the day before? I bought uh, the boots. Those uh -huh. are the used boots uh -huh. for two hundred dollars. Kill me. Uh, how those are those new? Do you know? Like two fifty probably. Okay. Um, ask me what brand. Don't oh, yeah. know. Um, <laughs> the are those zip off shorts. The pants are zip offs. Oh, that's those how are... you get fucking freaky. Oh yeah. Oh, why don't we take something off? <laughs> yup. And then the pants are REI. Those are like fucking eighty bucks, whatever. But um, uh, okay. did I get anything else? Oh, that and then, backpack. There's no way you had that around the house. Well, that was from. You look like you're about to save tsunami survivors with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where I just tell them to get in my backpack. That's a big ass bag. What did you have in there? How long was the hike? Nine did miles. You have sex out there, son. First of all, I wanted to get head because I wanted the fucking title to be get head by the trailhead. Is what I wanted okay. the fucking title to be. But title of this episode or like an Instagram photo? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> A soliloquy. Um, but the also, getting head after nine miles. I mean, that's what it would taste like. Your cock was trail mix. Worse. You, you were on a trail though. Oh yes. Trail. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it would take. <laughs> it would taste like a porcupine's asshole. Like it was awful. <laughs> um, but the the backpack she already had at her house because her whole thing is a hiking people. So what's um, in there, dude? Everything. You look like you have a ladder in there for some reason. <laughs> it's pretty long. I could have put a ladder in That's there. That's what I'm saying. Like what? But like, son, on long hikes, like I don't, I didn't know any of this. I learned all of it. But um, I had like two bottles of water. I had a bunch of like they're called GU chews that have like electrolytes and caffeine and sugar and stuff in case you start crashing. Uh, Insert blue chew ad. Do we have one? Mm, I don't know today. We'll figure it out. Well, yeah, we got it. <laughs> Buy but, it anyways. Um, but uh, what else? Uh, fucking a bunch of trail mix. Like I had like four peanut butter sandwiches. I had peanut oh, yeah. butter. Oh, dude, starving. I lost like almost two thousand calories in one hike. So it was so four and a half there, four and a half back, or nine and nine. Uh, four and a half there, four and a half back. Wow, how long did that take? All day, all day, dude. We st we woke the first hike. We woke up at four in the morning. Wow, and got back I'm at out. like at at like. Uh, we finished like at 4 p.m. <coughs> Out. Just to go. Hard <sighs> time. Look at that view. Dude, I, here's the thing. I, I'm fighting myself because my comic Jew East Coast brain mm -hmm. wants to be like, fuck this. I don't want to spend, I don't want to do that much goddamn no, or exert that much energy to live like that. But there are so many moments during this where you go, Fuck, this is worth it, dude. We went no, to like I'm an Alpine time. It, an Alpine Lake, dog. I've never seen an Alpine Lake. It's wild. It looks, there's so many moments where you go, this is not real. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like, this is where Jesus' asshole is. Like, it's perfect. A lot of asshole references today. Porcupine's asshole, Jesus' asshole. Can I, what, can, what is it called? Can I see it? Uh, yeah, it's called the um, Enchantments. Oh. Yeah. The yeah, first I'm just giving you a hard time. I do think that seeing stuff like that is always awesome, but. Um, so much effort to see it, though, for sure. Yeah. So, so you did that one day, then the next day you're like, you know what else we should do? Well, I didn't Another one plan of any of this. So what? I was just going with the flow. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, that's it. Look at that shit. That is not Seattle. Son, Seattle. That's an Arrowhead water bottle. <laughs> that's you? I wish. That guy fucks. I think he has the same pants on. How was the weather? Beautiful. Really? Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that's that's why my girl kind of like was forcing this weekend because it's one of the last weekends you can hike in Seattle without the weather being fucking horrid. Huh. Seattle weather's terrible, obviously. Right. Um, but yes, yeah, so we did this one. I was exhausted, but I was like, that was worth it, whatever, whatever. And then so we we took the next day off and the next day we did this other hike uh, and this same amount of miles. This one might have been harder because... The the elevation, oh, I said it was like it much is. more. It was like straight, straight up, up, dog. Yeah. It was it was a lot. And then here's the funny thing, and maybe you guys all know this. I didn't going down, worse. Uh, it's just harder on your legs, yeah, right? But it's work. quick. It goes by quicker. Going Definitely down. goes by quicker, but it's like literally harder. I was like, oh, cool. Let's let's this down's gonna be easy. No, ow. We have to watch every single step, slipping and sliding. Oh, gripping and riding. That's why I got the two hundred dollar boots. And you didn't. Nope, you, none. You had that fucking, oh, that grip. Oh, dude, 100%. That, lips, that grip. 
Yeah, and it won't, won't, you love that Reddit. I looked at it, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Don't say these things to me. You type that in, Reddit is a nice glass of Pinot Noir on a Thursday night. It's everything you would want. It's straight into it. I had a session last night because my girl's still in Seattle. I still call them sessions. Dude, when you, you put Greta in her cage, you put the goddamn sheet over so she goes to sleep. That's not a session. That's and, PETA knocking at your door. <laughs> what? Get that dog out of the crate. No, what do you mean? She's in her house. She loves, she loves her house. That's a studio apartment, dog. Get her out of there. I say, you, I say, did you go to your house? Go to sleep in your house, and she fucking. I'm not joking. She she loves it. She runs to it. Shelter. Any, anytime and dude, I think she just feels like so protected in that thing. Okay. I said, "Did you go to your house?" When did you get back? I said, "Did you go to your house?" I heard you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got back late last night. Okay. Uh huh. Well, here's the funny thing. We did another dumb early hike on Sunday. What the fuck? How many did you do? Oh, uh, uh, two total. So oh, we did enchantments oh, oh, oh. on. Friday, took Saturday off, and then did the... I can't remember this other one. I'm sorry. I'll figure it out. Whatever. Trailhead. Is, yeah, Trailhead by the Trailhead. Um, and then we did this one. But the shitty thing is we woke up super early to do this one, and then we went straight to the airport. Hike to airport? Terrible. Dog. Terrible. Your cock probably had <laughs> mesothelioma. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. There's, you you hiked nine miles yep. and then just sat on an airplane. Terrible. With Gigi. No, no, Captain America, she was, she was home. Oh. Yeah, Did she, you zip off the pants when you got to the airport? No, I switched my pants out. I switched my pants out. Oh, but, okay. But, um, but yeah, I only, zipped, I only zipped them. I only unzipped them when my girl and I were fighting on, on the hike. The you only time got I, on a fight on the hike? Two. How? Son, you ever with somebody for that long? You True. only think it's going to be one fight? True. You say something weird? You're quiet and you go, she goes, oh. what are you thinking about? You're like, cockatoos. And she goes, mm, not me. And you're like, what? Yeah, a lot. A lot. There were, what, yeah. were they, what were they about? Or is um, that... uh, I'm trying to remember. If... That's the funniest part is you go, what was that about? Well, the I, next morning after a fight, you go, why were we fighting? I can definitely tell you the first one. The first one was, and this is this is definitely on me for sure. Mm -hmm. um, she, she brought up like maybe four days ago. Um, she's like, I think we should get Greta back in training. And I was Damn. like, Damn. I was like, that's a good idea. But here's the problem. Like physical training or? <laughs> huh, was Gigi on the hike? No, that fat bitch can't get on the hike. <laughs> Gigi on the hike? G no, she would have came back with the V lines. <laughs> dude, she couldn't. Dude, the hike was. It was hard for me to do the hike. Yeah, no, there's no way cop in America. The only she, she. I mean, she would just fly. I she would have got swallowed by a pigeon. I get it. One hundred percent. She would have yeah. been attacked by a mountain lion quickly. Um, First fight. So she was like, "We should put." Is she <laughs> acting up? She's not acting up, but like she's not 100% cured. Like, so she'll be fine as dog park for 10 minutes and then she'll be like, blah, 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 and lose oh, her goddamn mind. Your girlfriend, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, my she'd girl. She'd be acting up. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Obviously. So Gigi's just popping off? Popping off. Yeah. I mean, but she's a Chihuahua. So normal, normal Chihuahua. I think in Chihuahua land, she's great. But like, you know, she's still like, you bring her dog park. Sometimes you take her yeah. outside, she pops off, right? So we're trying to get rid of all that, yada, yada, yada. So my girl goes, maybe we should get back her back into training because we've been moving and shit for the last like month and a half. So yeah, like yeah. we haven't had back in training. And I was like, I was like, yeah, we can do that. But it's like money. It's like a lot of money every session. And I feel like she's, I feel like we've reached like a, uh, the ceiling of how good we can get this dog. This is the dog. Yeah. He is why I don't want to keep investing if it's going to be the same thing or like little tiny increments for like a year or whatever. Like, I don't want to do that. And then she kind of was like, well, I mean, you know, like if it was my dog, like there, you know, there's a lot of responsibility with dogs and I just took it wrong. Uh -huh. Like I took it as if she was like scolding me for, and that's not what she meant. She was essentially yeah. just like, if we have a dog and we love her, we should try to get her the best of her, you know, the, the best of her, uh, like yeah. ability or whatever. So the fight was like, essentially like I'm overly sensitive when it comes to Gigi in terms of like, uh, people telling, telling me how, how to do because it, yeah, it's, like it, it's your child. It, oh, like correct. It, being like, it feels oh, like an, if yeah. that was my child. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it feels like an indictment on my my parenting technique. So yeah. then I just pop off. So we had that fight, and then so we, she brought it back up on the hike to be like, I want to have these conversations without you being so sensitive. Like, how do we do it? And then we just went. It just like it just took wrong turns, and so we're like hiking and fighting, hiking and fighting. Um, was there ever a moments where you guys didn't talk for like 10 minutes on the, on the trail? Um, not 
Not really. Oh, okay. But it was just like kind of like argumentative. Like it wasn't like, well, fine, fine. And then you're just like on a trail walking like an awkward distance between each other. Um, No, because I my girl doesn't like, I was going to say doesn't allow that. I mean, I think she's just like, she's like, let's just fix this. I don't want to ah, just be okay. sound. There's Good. no reason nice. to be sound like that. Yeah. But we, with the fight lasted maybe like 10 minutes, but it was like one of, it was like 10 minutes, like right before you leave. So we like sat down to have like the final, like try to like piece the fight together before we, before we left. So there was hella people just walking by and we had to keep stopping. It's funny if there's like a fight going on between you two and every time somebody walks by, Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, the the entire time. It's lovely up there. And I was. Nice used boots. All right. Take care. And listen, bitch, that's my dog. (laughs) Because also, people are about to embark on a long ass hike, so bark. everyone goes embark dog. So and people will go, hey, is this worth it? So right, like five right, right, people right. walk by. Also, the- who gives a fuck like what they say? Well, Somebody, if someone's correct. like no, then you're gonna turn around. Well, actually, on the, Probably, on the, on yeah. the second hike, someone Call, asked me, calling my own bluff. Someone asked me, I go, no, it's not worth it. And they go, are you kidding? And I was like, no, I'm just, I'm just joking, I'm joking. But like their energy shot down because ah. if you're three miles in. And you're struggling, and someone that just got to the top goes, "It's not worth it." You go, "Bitch, I'm turning around." I don't. What? What is this? Three pine cones and and one Christmas tree? Okay. Fuck this whole thing. I hear you. Anyways, so getting to the point where I unzip my pants. So hold up. This is where we're going. I didn't forget. So we're in the middle of fighting, and the sun is beaming. And you know when you fight, you get a little hot. You're a little hot already. Yeah. And then I'm getting this like up. a cinnabon. Uh huh. And so I just unzip my pants, and I didn't take the bottoms off completely. So I just put them down by my by my pant by my boots. So I was sitting there looking like a fucking like a jazzercise exercise coach. You, you just from had the eighties. The uncircumcised pant legs yep. on your shoes. On my shoes. Yep. And people but like, was that to like prove a point? Like fine. Or you were just hot in the argument. So hot. Yeah. I was so hot. It's funny. And but we we got you know we got to good places the argument but that's that's when I took my pants off but I so I didn't take it off for like a cool woodsman reason yeah I took it off because I was bitch and I was fighting that's actually why they make those in those pants in case fights yeah mm-hmm. oh, get it, a little air it in felt there. good though I will say you zip it off you get a little air that pops in there it felt good uh, it felt good it's nature's AC whoa yeah the wind yes what came first the wind or the Tesla wind dude wind like it's not even close wind you sure about that what's the ice age a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. The Ice Age, the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl is not real. The Ice <laughs> Age is not real. Pangea. Is that fucking real? Here's the thing. These dumb scientists can tell me anything like Pangea is real. And, and what am I going to say? Hey, show me the, the paper. Pangea, I can't but not read. Elevation. Huh? How do you know the word Pangea, but not elevation? I know the word elevation. I just couldn't <laughs> say it. <laughs> Pangea. I'm going to name my daughter Pangea. All right. Pangea, the horrible house sign. <laughs> what was the middle name? <laughs> yeah. The whore? The whore? Yeah. Pangea. Well, now it's got a title. It's like it's not Ohio State name. University. It's the Ohio State. That's the whore. What? Well, then it sounds like you're the town whore. First of all, towns used to only have like one drunk. That's the town drunk. I think there's yeah, multiple of us. Because there were seven of them. We use candles as lighting. You don't think we're all blacked out? Dude, imagine being the town whore. First of all, I back, was. Back, back in the day, to be a town whore, you had to sleep with like three people. Like, I don't think it was like- I think whore. it's more than that. You think so? I think it was a lot of fucking churn and butter, and I ain't talking dairy. What are you talking about? Cock. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just, people always want to time travel to the future. I want to go back. I want to go like 1800, bitches got bonnets. Yeah, but they smell like a fucking sewage pipe. There are no goddamn showers. There's hey, no ocean spray. There's a reason they didn't invent showering until 1912. Why? Smell good. Ew. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I people mean- People used to shower once a month in the lake. Can you it was a chore. I mean, dude, those fucking cooters. No one's got a goddamn manscape. Insert oh, yeah. the ad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's just a nightmare down there. I just how movies depict it. It it looks like I think I'd clean up. If I went back dressed like this, I'd clean up. I think they'd shoot you immediately. <laughs> dude, if you take a cowboy hat off, you get shot. That is true. I mean, I don't know. I, all I do know is I I actually do like those outfits. The corsets oh, with yeah. the boobs popping out. What's yeah. underneath there? It's there's layers. But dude, Bitch I mean, this ain't trident. I mean, how do you get all that shit off? Hands. All right. I don't know. How are much, chastity belts real? Yeah. What are you about to say? I was just gonna say how much. It is funny to be like, I'll have a, a shot of whiskey and a woman. Like you walk in there mm. and you order it like it's a Snickers, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, and then you just flip them a couple coins. 
Was money real back then? <laughs> like what, what, was, what was money? Real? But doors I mean, weren't even real. They had swinging doors that were this tall. Yeah, don't need those. What are those? What are those stopping? They don't stop anything, but they start everything. You kick through that and you go, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Glock. <laughs> you have to kick in barn doors if you want to fight. Here's the funny thing. If you walked in there to fight and you didn't, you opened the doors but didn't walk in and you opened the doors and they hit you back, funny. Definitely happened. This town ain't big. And you fight back. Well, I went to kick it, but there was like a latch and it was like, didn't go in. Like, yeah, oh, dang. Take two. Duels are funny. Also, the town was always big enough for everybody. It was ma- big enough for the two of us. It's massive. There's population 13,000 people in the state of the USA back then. Yep. There's, it's so much. There's so much room. Canada. A lot of space. Do people date more horses back then? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I feel like, son, if you're on the fucking dusty trail and you got you and my Mustang the mic. <laughs> a lot of you bestiality in this episode. You ain't piping? No. <laughs> the fuck I would here. rather go towards family members than a horse. I wouldn't. You ever seen That's a horse a cock? fucking lie. Insert every time he said he's banging his mom <laughs> on the show. This episode will be four hours long. Horses got fucking <clears throat> bah. Yep. Cockaroonies. Dude, I brought it up at one of the shows in Madison. Oh, the shows in Madison, Wisconsin were phenomenal. Fire. I loved every minute of it. But I brought up, there's a joke that, that it's like about something that references that old video that everybody saw. It's like a horse bangs a dude to death. And she goes, that wasn't the video. The video was of a of a dog fucking a person. And I was like, I think you have seen a different video. Yeah. Because the horse one was real. That was like E-bomb's world. That was like peak. Also, this one, she was you like, think I'm so dumb that I don't know the difference between a horse and a dog? There's a massive difference. One's fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can... Uh, I'll, I'll let you ride that train solo. But, All right. But... Um, yeah, she goes, no, it was a video of a dog banging a human and it was on Snapchat. I was like, I think you just have really bad friends who are just yeah. sending you videos. But she was like willing to die on it. She's like, no, the girl's from my hometown. I was like, I don't think we're on the same page here. It's not, but it's not even close. The no. protagonist is not no, even but, the same. And everybody else in the crowd was like, no, yeah, the, the horse video is called Mr. Hands. We've seen it, right? It's an NFT in, engraved in my brain. And she was like, that's a different one. Here's the thing. Was it a woman? Yes. Yeah, that's the problem. Women have this problem, right? Generally, Andrew Tate. Generally. <laughs> did I tell you guys I got invited to go on Fresh and Fit? Oh, yeah. You did? Yeah. yeah. It's in Miami. It's so far. Maybe when I'm in Fort Lauderdale, I'll do it. You should do it. But I want to do it as a character. 100 I want to do it like, just should, like, don't break character at all. You should dress up like that, the, the gecko thing that you dressed up as. Oh, the gecko? Yep. Just walk in there straight up. I want to dress up and give myself like a cul-de-sac receding hairline, gold chain, t-shirt down to my nipples. Right, V neck, yep. and I'm walking in saying, "Fuck women, off top." <laughs> yeah, and then I'm not gonna say anything for a while. Yeah, because I'm gonna be doing a Rubik's cube <laughs> yep. while getting ahead. Also, here's the thing: you don't have to Fresh really, fit. you don't really have to say a bunch in that because they have a basketball team worth of people in there, so you don't gotta say. The anything. audio engineer is just like, uh, who? Do, how do I? You think they have an audio engineer? I don't know. They don't have. How do they coordinate that many people at once? I'll find out when I'm on it. <sighs> I can't wait. It's so funny. Uh, Do you so guys funny. know that people didn't start brushing their teeth until the 1930s? What? What the hell? What did they what? use? They, they just didn't just do nothing? it. Nothing. Just didn't do it. Yeah. So Except, would their teeth like decay and fall out? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Interesting. God damn. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I recently was trying to figure something out. Yep. And sometimes it's. For my problem, I think, is I would ask friends, and friends are great, but they're also very biased. Yes. And I was feeling stuck with this thought of something, and I was like, let me talk to somebody who is trained professional. And that person is at BetterHelp. Yeah, because BetterHelp is an incredible, incredible online <clears throat> source, okay? And sometimes just saying it out loud helps you realize what you really need in life. It helps you work through problems, just saying words. Well, they, and they ask the right questions, to, and it's not, because I've asked my boys for advice, and they'll just mm-hmm. be like, Nah, fuck it, dude. You got it. Go jump the Grand Canyon. But a therapist would be like, <laughs> don't jump the Grand Canyon. Monetize the Grand Canyon. I don't know why my therapist is an entrepreneur, but it could be. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. Look, dude, it's convenient. It's accessible. It's affordable and entirely online. So you can be in your room looking at, you know, uh-huh. blank. We know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then the clock starts four and you're like, oh, dude, I don't have to drive anywhere. I can just pick up the phone and just get after it. You know? Buddy, I literally thought that during the pandemic, I was going to be upset that I had to do FaceTime therapy. 
but it was so much better. I'm going to drive, wait in traffic, sit in a freaking stuffy office. I can sit in my pajamas, you know, feet out, just talking about my problems. Feet out. Feet out. It was great. Um, so highly, highly, highly recommend BetterHelp. And, uh, you know, we can tell you where to get it. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there, dude. Visit BetterHelp.com slash socks today and get 10% off your first order. That is BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Socks, ten percent off your first month. Go find some happiness, guys. God damn! Big huge shout out to our sponsor, Backbone, dude. What is holding you back from the ultimate gaming experience? Is it the hundreds of dollars it costs for your setup, or are you the busy on the go type with only minutes to spare? Level, Level up. up your game yep. experience with Backbone, the universal gaming essential that instantly enhances your gaming experience on mobile devices get this what the, the official license controller for playstation uh, it was brought to life in collaboration with the whole playstation design team dude playstation gets it because they, they do. play with their station dude playstation that's pretty good playstation that was better i did the voice okay shut up okay marry me i will <laughs> But it's honestly, they sent us one. It's incredible. You literally just take your phone, you plug it into uh, a controller that it's like ergonomic. It feels incredible. It feels like literally like you're, you're playing PlayStation. Um, but the screen's right there, and you just plug your phone. Right, it's like it's it's your phone. It's right there. It's you know. And we travel so much, dude. It's it's incredible. I literally went out of town uh, actually last week, and I put the backbone in my pocket, played a little games on the Fred. They got Mountain. COD Mobile, Genshin Impact, uh, Minecraft, dude. Apex Legends. They really got some heaters on there, dude. Yeah, the backbone is super cool, man. I think my favorite part about it is that you get to do like cloud streaming games. Right. So like my phone's not that powerful. It's not as powerful as like my PS5 or whatever, but you get to do like remote streaming. So you get like full console quality games on your oh, phone man. with like the the great controller of the backbone. You just plug in your iPhone to the backbone um, and you can play console games with remote play, cloud streaming services, and even app store games. Buddy, that's incredible. Okay, so go to playbackbone.com slash socks. Now, to order your backbone for a limited time and, whoa, hold up, get free access to over 350 console games and perks. Backbone is now the official partner of Diablo uh, Immortal. Not only is the game specifically optimized for Backbone, but you will also receive $10 of in-game perks. Yeah, you will. Find your next <laughs> adventure at playbackbone.com slash socks. God damn. Yeah, only 7% of people brush their teeth before the 1930s. You know what's so funny? When they're like, oh, only 8.8. .8. How the fuck do you know? 7%. And then you ask them and they go, oh, we polled 100 people. Well, that's interesting. There's 3 million people in the world. So you're going to you're gonna just take 100 people and then, and the, oh, mathematics. Shut up. Ones and zeros aren't real. I don't give a fuck. Birds aren't real. Math isn't real. Science is a hoax. Pangea, was it? Was it a thing? Uh -huh. who, who knows? But they tell us that. And then we go, oh, cool. And you write it. And then you get an F because you didn't know. Hey, science bitch. How do you know it's real? Mrs. Smith gave me a goddamn F because I didn't know Pangea. How do you know it's real? What, you read more books than me? You catch her in a right whore? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Probably. I mean, yeah. But you know what I mean? How, do, how does anybody know that anything is real? People out here not knowing, saying that space isn't real. But we go, oh, you're dumb. Space is real. There's people who don't think New Mexico's a state. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't think is real. That I think is fake. But when people go, space is not real. And then everyone laughs. Oh, you're so dumb. How the fuck do you know that space is real? I'm not saying that space is real, not real. I'm saying how the fuck you know everyone is so goddamn sure that space is real. Have you been? Why don't you think aliens have been here yet? You don't think it's cool enough here? We got Six Flags, Magic Mountain, we got titties. Why wouldn't they visit? Or are, you are they kidding here me? and they're walking amongst us? We don't know it. Do you think they give a fuck about Six Flags? They can fuck themselves in their brains. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? Bring out the VR headset. Yeah. Do we still have it? I got to nice. jerk off that. My girl doesn't come back till tomorrow. Oh. Give me that shit, Jack. Is this your first night alone in the new place? Last night. That's why I had a session. I put Gigi in her house. Oh, session yourself. What do you think I was having a session? Watch sex. HBO? I thought you said sex. I oh, thought, no, session. I, I thought you were calling your sex a session. No, 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 no. That's why I was getting on you. Oh, no, 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 no. I was jerking oh, my yeah. cock. Lock the dog up. Oh, yeah. Throw away the key. Bar, rah, rah, get in your house. Gigi's like, it's 11 a.m. Shut up. Real quick, last week on Patreon, you talked about how your landlord called and said that you 
you fuck too loud, right? Yeah. Did anything ever happen with that? No, because that happened, and then we went to uh, Seattle. So we haven't been back, like, it long enough you, for it Did to... you tell her? Did you tell your Yeah, girl? yeah, yeah, immediately. Was she, like, cool with it? or was So she, like... embarrassed. Oh. So embarrassed. But, like, in a ha, funny, this is, like, you know, she wasn't, like... But, like, a, like oh, really? Fuck. All right. No, 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 no. It was, it was a more positive energy. Well, she's thing. a very nice lady i feel yeah, like yeah. she would make them like apple fritters and be like, she I'm wants sorry. me to actually talk to them the neighbors that that's complaint. weird i if think i'm go, gonna do it though. are you really yeah man because oh hey that was me and my cock yeah. sorry what are you gonna say i'm gonna say I'm sorry about the sexual eruptions that i've been having what are no. you fucking snoop dog sexual well, you know it's not sexual seductions it's sexual eruptions didn't know that that's the dirty version Eruptions is crazy. That's come. I've never came and be like, I erupted. I but I, I have. will. I have. Really? Dude, there was there was a I'm trying is... to get jerked off like a lava lamp. You could. All right. Gabe, turn the camera off. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you did two hands. That was nice. I want, I thought you want to get jerked off like a like a lava lamp. Yeah, but this is like a lava lamp. I don't know. You what want to get jerked do? off like a fucking magic eight ball. Bitch. Yeah. Hey. Guess what your your future is. Come. Come. We should do a podcast together. Let's do it. Um, so okay, let's role play. I'm your neighbor, real quick. Oh, by the way, he breaks it down on the Patreon. It's fucking hilarious. Um, uh, oh yeah, I, I, uh, I'm the neighbor. Okay. I don't know why I'm knocking on my own door. Okay, <sighs> spaghettis are so hot. <laughs> <sighs> spaghettis. What type of building do you think I live in? I complain about my neighbors having sex. You think my life is doing well? You're totally right. <sighs> spaghettis are so hot. Who the fuck is at the? <laughs> Hello. Oh hey, how are you? I'm uh I'm, I'm fine. I'm, are you sure? No. Do you want to talk about something? You have spaghettios on your shirt. Are you okay? I'm saving some for later. Okay. Do you ever lay in bed and wonder what this all amounts to? Like life in general? Mm hmm a, a lot. That's too deep. I'm sorry. It's okay. What can I do? Speaking for you? of deep, I sometimes put my cockiness too deep in my lady. Hi. Uh, 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 real talk. Real oh, talk. are we doing real? Yeah, let's do All let's funny? Real. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck spaghettios. <laughs> Okay. Hey, hello. Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm all right. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm I'm Michael. I don't I'm have your any new, money. I'm your new, I'm sorry. I don't have any money. <laughs> you have no money. So if you're selling candy bars, I don't want them. No, no I, I'm not selling candy bars. Okay. I'm selling cock. So for only 19.99. <laughs> all right, take three. Yeah, okay. All jokes aside. All jokes aside. Hey, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, Why are you naked? <sighs> I was fucking a bowl of spaghettios. <laughs> Take four. <laughs> Take four. All right. Hello? Hi. Is hey. space real? Take five. <laughs> Great candy bar. Take five. Take six. Hello? Hey, what's up? How are you? Doing all right. Cool. I'm Michael, your new uh, your new neighbor. Oh, you're down... Uh, yep. You... In in unit 102. Okay. That's my real unit. Fuck. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They don't know my address. I'm a unit 102. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, this is kind of weird to have this conversation, but uh, you were telling Ted that you kind of heard... Um, you know, my girlfriend and I kind of being a bit too loud late at night. You know oh. what I mean? Um, so I just, <clears throat> I, I ultimately kind of want to just know if it's like a, a loud, um, issue or is it like a time issue? Meaning like, like a jealousy. Uh, I'm sorry. Jealousy. Uh, no, no, not like a jealousy. What uh, I mean is like, um, is it like a, maybe let's not do that past 10 o'clock type mm -hmm. thing? Or is it just loud and noise in general? Or is it noise in general where like you kind of just, it doesn't matter if it's 12 or one. It's just yeah, I think be it's too loud. I oh, think it's just a little too loud. Just in general. Yeah. So there's not really like, you, you're not, you're not willing to compromise. Like maybe like after like nine or 10, let's not do it. Cause what I'm saying is like, we're kind of in the comfort of our own home and we don't definitely don't want to disturb you, okay. but we also don't want to have like kind of like restrictions on our own home. Like, you know, we all pay a good amount of money to live here. Mm -hmm. And if we can kind of compromise, like maybe past like nine, we won't, or maybe past 10, we won't, yeah. but just, you know, to put kind of a governor, like we can't at like 12, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah. you know, it's just putting us at an awkward situation. I so hear you. let me watch. You want to, you want to watch? I need to see. <sighs> If her sound levels yeah. are matching what's... Is is this a Honda Civic going... Is that spoiler real? Right. Or are we talking... Is that a Maserati out there making the noise? I need to see, does the car match the engine? Okay. Does the cock match the spoiler? Does this example make sense to anyone else? <laughs> Yeah, right? No, I'm totally no, with it. Yeah. No, you, you, oh, you ever, like, you ever oh, like yes. open your window as a loud-ass fucking car? And you I, look... Buddy... And I'm it's so a I'm diesel Prius. You're like, what in the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your goal here? 
What is your end goal? Just yes, to I melt do. the ice caps. I understand where you're, Pangea. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Um. But but yeah, dude. I think uh. I yeah. But, I hear you. Yeah. But yeah, it's just I got kids, and it's like it's a whole thing. Maybe we cut that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a little distracting. You know, I'm in finance. You know, my wife is um, dead and I just have kids. And it's like, you know, I just, I right. don't, don't want to have to explain to them that they're not watching the Avengers movie next door. Your wife is dead. Have I ever told them my first wet dream? <laughs> Big callback. Huge callback. Don't tell them what people, it is. hundred people are going to know. Yeah. Good. Um, wow. Well, okay. I'm excited for you. I, honestly, dude, I'm excited about the conversation. And here's the thing: I actually appreciate uh, you doing a role play with it because I think I got my thoughts in line. I think yeah. it's, I think it's a reasonable. I would change a couple of things. It was oh, a little, uh -huh. a little Andrew Tate. It was a little like I'm in the comfort of my own home. This bitch will come. I also wouldn't throw in the. You've been hearing some noise late at night. If you know what I mean, I wouldn't do the. If you know what I mean, I think he knows. I don't think you gotta. Keep oh, it, but, okay, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't. I, I would definitely not do that. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. The, my goal here is not to be like, hey, I fuck. The goal <laughs> here is how it came off. Then that's not what I mean. Okay. My my literally my goal is we have we have two we have two options here. Mm -hmm. uh, is it is it can can there just be sort of like a noise ordinance put into place between the two apartments where like after nine or ten if if we engage in that type of activities yeah. we will keep it down I think or just, is it just like a noise thing in I general? I think it's just got to be noise in general. Because really, because even if you call it at like you're like oh, well we won't do it past nine p.m. <clears throat> 8.57, it's going to sound like a goddamn King Kong end scene, all right? Yeah. You ever, you ever listen to Bronx Zoo late at night? That's what it sounds like. That's a really bad impression of the elephant. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> That's I'm a bad curious impression. I'm curious to know, one, Pretty what your actually. neighbor is going to look like. Yeah. And how they're going to take it. Because if they're like some jack dude. Yeah. What are you going to say? If I walk up and he's jacked? And he's like, just jack dude. He's like, you're fucking up my REMs. A sleep sketch. It's I'm, too loud. I'm going to say, then you can fuck my girlfriend. How do I become your neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> you turn me like... <laughs> I want to meet her. I want to meet her. No. All right. Um, um, I'm but, curious on how that'll go. I'm, I'm interested too. I almost think you don't do it. I think she should do it. She's she very will, nice and she's very well spoken. She is nice. She's very well spoken. She. It is a little more embarrassing though. She will never do that. Really? Yeah. I, I think my main goal here, and to Gabe's point, is like I need to never make the other person make the make the neighbor think that I'm like <laughs> you heard it. So right. like never that. Yeah. It's just like I well, first of all, you know what I didn't do, which I'm going to do for sure, is I'm going to apologize. Right. I need off yep. top. Hey, sorry. I need to. I, I'm like I heard that there was a complaint to Ted, and I am so that was never our intention. I am so like, sorry. Dot dot dot. That I beat that pussy up so well. Yeah, my bad. My like, bad. My bad. I'm so good at fucking. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't sorry. know if you looked at the Spotify charts lately, but I fuck and I'm on the comedy charts. Yeah. Now what? Your you ever, move. You ever been to Tempe, Arizona? Because I'm there. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's the passive aggressiveness when it goes to a third party, like a landlord is always makes up. But if you, you might talk to them and they might be like very like, hey, I get it, man. But blah, blah, blah. Oh, 100%. It might be very... And at the end of the day, dude, like I want the ecosystem of the apartment to like be um a fuck zone. Yes. So do we have any uh what if we just stopped? Um no, everyone be respectful. But you also want to feel comfortable in your own home. That's the two things I'm playing with, right? Cuz I want everyone to feel respected. I right. don't want to like disturb anybody, mm -hmm. but also like paying rent at a place like i, I want to be able you to like You want to be doing the sex. Yeah. You want to be in six gear. None of this idle in third. Yeah, I'm Kick neutral. neutral. I'm trying to come. <laughs> if that's not a quote, I don't know what's happening. New There's been a lot of good quotes in this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, all right, you guys ready for sock talk? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. We have a submission here from uh, Nick Lowe. Lowe? Lau? I think it's Lowe. Um, and he wanted to send a Reddit post that's been making the rounds lately, and he wanted to get I've seen people on, on TikTok talking about something on reddit and i haven't looked it up i think usually when i go to reddit i uh come yeah i think this is the same one <laughs> um this is from uh the subreddit today i fucked up t-i-f-u and it says uh today i fucked up my girlfriend of two years told me that the music that i play during sex is weird and a major turnoff so he says uh 
I made a love making playlist and started slowly creating it, adding songs. Um, and these are songs where I was comfortable matching the rhythm. There's a few songs to my playlist. However, there is one song in particular, which happens to be my favorite, that my girlfriend hates and says turns her off in a major way. I don't understand why it's taken her two years to tell me that she hates it. It's a good love making song with good rhythm. I feel the way that I fucked up is I could have probably previously asked her if she likes the playlist. But to leave it to two years thinking our sex life is great, and but in her eyes has just been ruined by my music, has left the whole situation feeling awkward, and I'm a bit annoyed. Um, so do you guys want to hear the song? Is it Crazy Frog? Ding, 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 ding. No, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm so You have you have it Yeah, we've got the song. So this is a Hudson Mohawk Seabat. Okay. All right. Sounds like a Nick Cannon movie. <laughs> it sounds like you're choking I a chipmunk. Have... This is weird. This sounds like Gigi at the gym. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a bunch of animals beatboxing. <laughs> this so, is yeah, this is the song. And it's basically That's the weird. song? Yeah. It doesn't do anything else. Wait for it. I would come right out of that bass drop. <laughs> how, but I, how do you even fuck to this song? How a pigeon walks. <laughs> <laughs> kinda, this, I kind of like it. You like this? Yeah. Well, I like this. This is more no. like this is like four white dudes in a Nissan Altima in high school hot boxing a car about to freestyle. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. This is this is the song I play when I'm prepping my suicide. <laughs> uh, you know, what's funny is I saw TikToks with that sound and I didn't get it. Mm. But imagine getting clapped out to that. Also, he said the playlist is two hours or they dated for two years. I think he said they dated for two years. Mm. Uh, he doesn't say how many songs are on the playlist. Do you guys have a song that like you would really want to fuck to, but you think probably someone else would make fun of you for it? Yeah, we're to heaven. <laughs> to when she of... gets there, she knows. Stairway to heaven. That song that's, is way too long for you. That's also not Stairway to Heaven. What is it? Wait, with what you're just doing? When she gets there, she knows. Da, 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 okay. da, I thought, it you, were, I thought you were doing I uh, jerked off to it. That's Stairway to Heaven. I think I think I would do uh, Phil Collins in the air tonight live. Because it's like a two minute build up and uh -huh. that's like the foreplay. Uh -huh. And then right as the do 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 Yeah. That for me. It's a really good song. That is a no, that's, great that's song. That song's fire. Or Kid Rock's Ba to get ba da bang da bang dibbit. The build up on that shit is electric. I don't know if you've heard it. Fuck to that. No, I, I, I'm thinking about just drinking at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, obviously not Kid Rock. I think Phil Collins. You could actually. You no, could, you could definitely fuck. I that. picture like an LED kind of like luminescent room. Is that the right word? I'm just saying shit. Yeah, no. But like kind of like when that when that comes on, all the lights go from like like a blue to like a neon green. You come at me. This is a Vegas show in my head. I, it, I, I think I think that would be one out. People would be like, "What?" Like, it I is funny that you you play a song that epic and come in your pants. <laughs> oh, come Here before we go. the build up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Well, the whole thought of a playlist. I don't know. I, I, you're not a music guy, are you? No, but the, I hate playing music when I fuck. It's too. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It, I feel, I feel it, like uh, it, it puts me in moods that I don't want to be in. It also. Exactly. It's like if you're, it's, I it's like altering the mood, but you aren't doing it. Right. It's an R&B singer that's doing it. Right. I just like, I don't. It feels like when people go on a first date to a comedy club, I'm getting you laid by these jokes. You're welcome. That's how it feels. Yeah. Your lady's I'm not wet attracted because of my you, setups. But Freak Me by Silk, that's what's getting you laid. Not, not yourself. Uh -huh. It's a song in the background. Also, when I, when I play like R&B and stuff, I think. I think about like the the music video, and then I'm just thinking about like a hot dude. I don't. All yeah, I don't want to think I'm about like, other things. The only thing I want to hear in the background is a fan or two. Yeah, I of my videos. Yeah, I'm trying not to come. <laughs> Nobody get that. What a fan or two of my videos. Oh fuck! All right, sorry. Moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> leave it in. <laughs> well, 100 percent leave it in. It's great. Um, well, oh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm just saying, like, it makes me just it makes me think about the music video, and then I'm thinking about a, a guy. Oh yeah, oiled dude. Up. The the. And then I just don't, me personally, I just don't, I'm trying not to come. The girl I lost my virginity to, I remember the TV that was on, it was the Music Choice Channel. And there's no music videos on there. Right. It's just like the song and then like a like a lava looking screen. Yeah. And every time it changed, I'd look and see what they were putting on. Oh shit, we're fucking a Kesha right now? 
That's pretty cool. Kevin Little, turn me on. Maybe mm-hmm. that one. That would, what, what would your song be that's a little embarrassing, but to you it means something? <laughs> uh, um, bananas in pajamas. Mm-hmm. It's coming down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Bananas in pajamas are chasing teddy bears. I'm hard. There you go. What's the song that you would play thinking that that puts you in the zone, but mm-hmm. maybe your girlfriend would be like, Michael, what is this? Um, honestly, I like really, really, really sexual R and B. So I feel like maybe like, like all R and B is sexual. But like, too, ain't nobody singing R and B about coloring in the lines. But, but too, but like, like a song like um uh, uh what song is that? Uh, uh Maxwell, uh, Woman's Work. That, like, that'd be the one. You you put it on. It's like it's like too, it's like you you just met this girl in in line at a bathroom at a club. It's four in the morning. You guys are on ketamine, and I put on. And you're like, what in the fuck is going on? Put your cock in my mouth. Why are you playing this? Are we in love? Are we going to get it married? Or are you yeah. going to put it in my ass? Ain't no laws when you're drinking clothes. Uh, yeah, all valid statements. Do you know what song I'm talking about, though? The song? Yeah, no. can you please, can you yeah, please play got, a second of it? Yes. Yeah. It's like, it's too much. This is a song you play when you're like been with a person for four years and you're like looking yeah, in their R&B eyes. R&B on a first date is interesting. <laughs> This sounds like somebody, like a homeless person singing in the, the alleyway in New York. This? Yeah. I'd fuck that homeless guy. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I can play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we're we'll probably yeah, out yeah, now. YouTube, yeah. But you know what I mean? It's like way too sexual. I, but dude, when I was in college, I had like, I was so into fucking R&B that I would like, would play like, um, just like, like very, very, uh, like R&B soulful shit. And it's like in, in the car, like to the club and people are like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. Cause this shit gets me like hype. It doesn't like, you know. R&B is great. I love R&B. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that song that that gentleman played, that was, uh, it was, it, it was sounded just, like it'd be in a commercial for like Kia. Yeah. Like, like a shit car. If you have a Kia, whatever. But I'm saying like, Kia, some Kias are like really, the, the really the nice. the new Kia Optima. Yeah. 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 Copyright. Is What's that copyright? Some, like, 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 like that song sounds like it's copyright free. Like you could go on YouTube and be like, "That's what it sounds sexual like." Sexual music, yes. free. Yes, that's what, exactly what, what is that? Is that on Spotify? Yeah, yeah. Who, who sings it? It's Hudson Mohawk. It's uh, you're talking about the first <sighs> one that the guy did. He's part yeah. of uh that that producer duo Tonight. They like produced some stuff for Kanye, uh, years ago. Oh, okay, but yeah, the song's not bad. It just it's just weird. It's just What's weird it called? Music. It's just weird to fuck to. No, it's called um, it's called C-Bat? We're Not Gonna Make It as a band. Oh, Seabat. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only 2.8 mil, dude. A lot of people fucking. A lot. But hey, he's got 1.2 monthly listeners. That's 1.2 horny people. I oh, love it. Um, um, all right. Word. Well, secret sock time. Let's do it. Let's get into an anonymous submission that says, uh, I've been dating this girl for six months. Nice. Uh, things are going well. I bought a vibrator for us to use together. Hell yeah. Uh, first time I used it, it literally got stuck uh, inside of her. I was trying not to what freak out. What get stuck? Behind the couch? Hey, uh, no, nothing. Right. <laughs> Gabe hit me with an A. Hey. <laughs> well, it's hard because I'm trying That's... to, I'm trying to keep track of where the messages are. It's like it's split into five. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and it got stuck. I will interrupt. Stuck. I will interrupt. Uh, I was trying not to freak out, so what I did was I went for her armpit and I tickled her, and when she laughed, the vibrator came out more and more. <laughs> So yeah, I tickled the stuck vibrator out of my girlfriend. Her arm is an easy button. Where would you? What, that's some bare grill shit to know that. I would not think of that. For God's, I mean, I would. How small of a vibrator or how cavernous is her vagina? One of the two. You ever seen a dildo? Like dildos are. Oh, a vibrator. I think it's a little fucking buzz. Oh, buzz a little boy. buzz buzz. Yeah. Well, a buzz buzz shouldn't go in. Buzz buzz are outside. You know what I mean? This is true. Yeah, because aren't the little buzz buzzes for the old clitoris? Ideally. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It, I would, I would use my fingers like one of those things at the arcade that's trying to get the the stuffed animals, <laughs> the little the little claw thing. That's what I would use to just try to get the vibra out of the out of the cooch. But the armpit tickle that means I would, that she's like an expert. Y- oh yeah. Yeah. This, this is happened ain't her first rodeo before. Yeah. Because my head would be like, mm-hmm. well, let's get you a gallon of water, and it's piss time. That's where that would work. You know what I do? 
I just started getting my clothes on, and they, and she'd be like, "Where are you going?" And I'm like, "I'm just I'm going to get you some drinks," and I wouldn't come back. Mm. Then you just have a buzz buzz stuck in there. Was it still going? Probably. I Probably, wanted right? to turn yeah. it off. Yeah. Birth control is like, hey, this shit's too loud. Turn it down. Hey, I'm not going to sleep. Does birth control ever go to sleep? I no, hope not. It's always on duty. God damn. It has a little sign in front of the vagina. It's like security here. Open. Always. It is. F- does, so birth control just 100%. No. So it always is 99.9. That's just leaving That's for legality. So get, yeah. That's just so they don't get sued. Right. But there are some super strong. You think like Bron James sperm is getting stopped by fucking bitch ass uh, birth IUDs? control? No. 100%. LeBron James <laughs> sperm jumping right out of that goddamn idiot that's like, oh, stop. No. I'm getting that egg. Yeah, you could par, you like power an RC car with that cum. Oh, 100%. I'm getting that egg. I'm making fucking eggs Benedict. Hmm? Excuse me? <laughs> what podcast is this? I don't know. Fit, present fit. So. <laughs> Buzz, buzz, she, then just she just tickles and then she just lets it go. That's good. Well, here, how does that work though? Because when you tickle, don't you tighten up? Wouldn't you want to? Oh, so she shot it out. Maybe. Yeah, I don't really understand the physics of it, but I guess I could see it. Like you're kind of squirming and moving and and just, moving, grooving. Yeah. Wow, I would not have thought of that at all. No. I don't think anybody would. No. Nah. I don't. I don't know what I would have. Yeah, I would have. I would have done the claw thing. But good for you to know that. Well, it's nice to learn something on this podcast. Yeah, if it ever gets stuck, just tickle, tickle, tickle. That is weird to be like, oh my God, it's stuck in me and be like, okay, tickle, you know, tickle, yeah, tickle. Yeah. Like, that's a weird uh, one, too. Do you like to get tickled? No. I don't like it either. Uh, don't tickle me. Yeah. I'll shoot you. <laughs> Somebody's definitely been shot over being tickled. 100%. Probably near Walmart. People would be shooting in Walmarts. Maybe, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand what you mean. But it's like, oh, it's like Black Friday, and they're like, that's a nice that's a nice Samsung TV. And 42 inches? People go insane for Black Friday. Like a 42-inch TV is like $100 off, and they're like, I'll shoot your kid if you don't give me that. You're like, it's, it's just a cr- TV. But like, to, you're about to go shopping, and you're like, all right, it's 3 a.m., ready to go. Where's the Glock? So weird. You're going to a Build-A-Bear. At 3 a.m., you're either asleep, or you're going on a hike with your girlfriend. Kill me. That's wild. Wild. Um, Black Friday is crazy. Have you ever been? Yeah. Never. Oh, oh my, my hometown, there's an outlet mall that people fucking, it just, it opens Thanksgiving night at like midnight. So it, you don't even have to get up. Like you just stay up for it. How but do you it, stay up on Thanksgiving? You got so much tryptophan running through your goddamn veins? I don't know. It's a great question. No chance I give a fuck about some goddamn old Navy pants for $15 off. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's all retail. It's like you buy five t-shirts and you get one for free. It's not like it, the big wins are the electronics, TVs and shit, refrigerators. You think people ever met on Black Friday? Yeah. Damn. People have met any way you can imagine. Yeah. Somebody was in, in line at a Quiznos and they're like, God, I'd fuck. And they're like, what? Oh, good. You know what's crazy is I guarantee you a TSA worker, when they were patting down somebody, goes, yeah. damn, you got a hog. And he goes, yes, I do. That's and that's it. how they met. Yeah. And they, they fucked inside one of those milk vending tit things. Saw one of those yesterday. What are they called? Lactate. Lactate rooms? Lactation station. Dude, that's so sick. Like, there it is. That's a late it. contender for a title, but that was... Uh... You ever think a baby walks by there and goes, oh shit, a Quiznos? <laughs> you go, oh shit, that's home base. 100%. But that's where they eat. Oh Dude, shit, the, a pizza. The one, the one in the Chicago airport has a keypad on it. I'm How do you know to... the code? <laughs> Just type in tits? What's the I code? Know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It was funny. What if you open it? There's a guy on a Zoom call. He's like, Sorry. come on, guys. <laughs> so he plays to get some quiet. That's where I'm going to go to get hit. Like, I am getting milked. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better way to end an episode. <laughs> you getting milked in the O'Hare airport. <laughs> in a lactate room. Getting milked. Getting milked in the lactate room. Milk Why me doesn't my Tesla know how to suck me off? It will soon. Is there not a feature? Oh, you can make it make it fart noises. Interesting. Can the horn turn into a flashlight? It can. I want Elon Musk to suck my cock for on Black Friday on yeah. a on Google Cloud. <laughs> You're just a lot of buzzwords there. A lot of SEC options. SEC S- SEO SEO. I was thinking SEC. College football's back. <laughs> SEC, baby. 
Dude, what happened with college football? Isn't there like a hundred teams in the SEC now? Everybody's moving to the SEC. Right? Isn't that the right. thing? Who knows sports here? Dude, I don't know what Jack, this, you know. The San Jose State one, people keep leaving it. I'm like, I didn't know you could just do that. You just keep leaving it. It's like the Mountain West now. I think we just play like really good high school teams over at San Jose State. <laughs> I don't like I, I don't know. Is San Jose is, is that even a college? Like technically. I think it's what? like an advanced high school. San you State? got in and you couldn't read a fucking book, dude. I could just slowly. They handed you a Snapple fact and you're like, what type of riddle is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it did at points feel like uh, high school because it was just a big square. It was like the campus was just like. I'm surprised you know what a square is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that's all circles on the sides. Um, <laughs> so, the, so the name circle on it. The, the campus was just like four by four blocks. So you go up four blocks, you go down four blocks. All circles? Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, fuck. Sorry. The big square? Yeah. It, so it did feel like a just a big high school campus at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we had a Panda Express. We didn't. That was great. Yeah. Dude, that, I, this is the last thing we should say because we're fucking going so far. But do you remember like... Like having like the high school mentality where you're a senior, kind of like the man, you know everyone, everyone knows you, blah, blah, blah. And that moment when you go to college and you go- And you ain't shit again. And you're like, what happened? Yeah, you're you like, ain't shit on. again. You're like, I worked four years to be the shit. Now I'm zero. Yeah. It kind of preps you for life. Because then you get to a senior yeah. in college. Same and thing. Go, it and repeats. Then, yeah, and you go back and you, they, you you move to New York and everyone goes, what's your name? And you're like, what? It was the same thing with comedy. I was doing stand-up in the Bay Area. In college, I had 10 minutes of material that I thought was fire. Yeah. Went to LA, did that material. I, it was like a three-minute set. Did all 10 minutes in three minutes. Mm -hmm. bombed, bombed. And I go, oh, I got to restart. Regroup. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is... That jump, the, the cockiness of being a senior in high school is Oof. just so funny because it's yep. like, in hindsight, it it just doesn't matter. Well, the co the the funny thing ever to me is the cockiness of a senior in college, right. and then you go in the workforce, and you're like, what are you even senior talking senior about? cockiness is a little different because you kind of just like you don't care. It's like you're like I'm cool, but I'm just over it. You know, cockiness of a high school senior, you're like I run all of Wisconsin. Right. I run this place. Yeah. You got the lanyards, you got Crocs on, you're flipping your lanyards in the hallway. It's like a big, like, what's up, look at me. But I feel like a senior in high school, like, I was more just like, I would wear like a Patagonia with no t shirt underneath it to class and be like, who gives a fuck? That's I true. I smell like maple syrup. Who cares? I got head. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. 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 I put bacon on my cock and get a girl to suck me off in the Raffery Center. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just, I, yeah, I don't know. Senior year of college, you're almost ready for the real world. But, 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 well, actually, but that's but the funny you're thing senior, you're not at all, though. That's the right. funny thing. You but you think anything. you are because you had yeah. one internship. Yeah. But uh, you, you do feel one more... internship. Dude, I had an internship at a radio station. That, I got humbled I did there. I too. I got humbled there. I almost got fired for taking a picture with Wiz Khalifa. All right. Yeah. I remember that story. Yeah. Dude, I was, I was just, they didn't go fuck You don't know anything. Me. You don't know anything. No. You voted one time. You're like, I'm a Democrat. You're like, what are you even talking about? You're like, I don't know. Exactly. What's an apple? Exactly. You don't know anything. Yeah. You don't even know what a tangerine is when you're that young. I still don't. I honestly don't know either. Is it? A, it's just a small. It's just a bitch ass orange. A tangerine's a bitch ass orange. What's the difference between tangerines and cuties? Same I thing? think no. A cutie's just a type of tangerine. I think those are so goddamn good. Also, a kumquat's a bitch ass fucking tangerine. Talk to him. Let him know. Hey, what's up, all you kumquat bitches? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm gonna open my special. What's up, all you kumquat bitches? <laughs> all right, well. What would you do if a girl's about to suck you off and she goes, they call me the kumquat for a reason? Um, I try to leave desperately because she's going to give me monkey pox. <laughs> 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 she's got something. A good heart. All right. <laughs> and chlamydia. <laughs> exactly. I always think that my girlfriend was like a massive whore in high school. And I always want to talk. Why not college? Who cares about college? That's, that's not even Everybody's right. a whore in college. Everyone. Are you kidding me? I'd fuck the TA right now. What's a TA? <laughs> a t can you imagine being like, I want to be a TA? Teacher's assistant? I know, but what, that's what you want to do? I think TAs and teachers usually has them. Oh, I was yeah. a TA for a PE teacher. That's it for us. <laughs> PE teachers, they, they, uh, they go out in public just being like, oh, I do PE. Yeah, people, well, the funny thing is people go, what do you do for a living? They go, I'm a teacher. You teach dodgeball. 
<laughs> what are you even talking about? Two classes ago, you played Duck, Duck, Goose. And you're a teacher. <laughs> All right. All right. I could keep going. This has been great. But we are, I mean, this, is, this has been an hour and a half. Hour and a half. I'm sweating. I'm so hot. Good All to right. be back. Guys, that's the episode. Thank you so much for listening um, and uh, watching. And that is the episode. You guys are awesome. Um, and a friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes a month. Drops every Friday ad-free um, for only $5 a month on Patreon. And we have iconic episodes. We interview Gabe um, and a bunch of other shit that's incredible. So go check that shit out. Um, go on patreon.com backslash stiffsockspod. That is patreon.com backslash stiffsockspod. And we have Apple Plus or Sip Stocks Plus, um, excuse me, on mm-hmm. Apple, um, and that gives you all the bonus episodes. Um, drops every Friday as well, ad free, um, just audio versions, um, but it's available on Apple as well. And this week we have the illustrious Anal Princess on. I'm excited. The internet is fascinated by her. We're about to find out why. Yeah, she's a lovely lady. Um, but also here's a clip from last week's Patreon, which is also a blast. I had zero percent of a voice, uh, but it was a lot of fun. I talked about Vegas and uh, some of those shows and a buffet. Here you go. I went to Las Vegas and over the weekend, and we went to a buffet. This is funny. Give it it was ninety dollars to get in. No, at the what? Caesar's one. No, you know it's even funnier. They had an hour and a half wait, and this lady, we're like, "Fuck it, went there." Because you know, like that post party or drinking day, we kind of just don't really care. Yeah, we're joking. We're like, "Ah, no, come on, we're we're performers in town. Let us in." She's this old lady. We're kind of just fucking with her a little bit, like, yeah. but she's laughing back. It's a good time. And then I jokingly was like, ah, come on, is there a wait? And I put out 50 bucks, like, yeah, is there still a wait? And then she looked around, she's like, I can't do that. And she goes, but if you ask twice, I might. And then I was like, come on. And she took 50 bucks and she, <laughs> and she let you in. She let us in. That's really, That's I've never seen it actually work. Paying money to cut a line at a buffet is a sad peak thing. America. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, huh. there's something about buffets and crab legs where people lose their minds. Crab legs just in general, I think, are Dude, they, phenomenal. They are, but like from a nice restaurant. But they were still really good from a buffet, but it's just so funny. They just have like just tubs of hot crab legs and there's a line. It's also big f- line. Think about this. Next like tapioca Think pudding. about where Vegas is. That's not close to water, ladies no, and gentlemen. not at all. And people lose their goddamn mind over all the fish there. I, I mean, had, vile. Yeah, I had sushi in Vegas and it was very not good. Oh, not good? No. I was, but the same thing to your point. I was like, where's an ocean? Where's a water? Where's a Jesus? There are, there is no what, the, n- none of that exists in Vegas. Jesus is not real <laughs> in Vegas and water's not real and premarital sex is not like, just, yeah. it doesn't, anything I is, just, go ahead. The amount of electronic scooters parked out front of the buffet Fat. was, uh, I just, it was oh. just, I don't know. Could be, could be that, could be age or whatever but it, it just like you knew you were getting closer to the buffet based on the amount of parked scooters you saw god it's a sad sentence that is america it is a parked scooter that's america dude there was like a fruit bar nobody touching it crab legs going off eggs Who's benedict going off having a, a melon ball I it wanted, is 2 p.m and maybe. i want an alaskan kid crab legs up my urethra dude, daddy I mean, when's the last time we went to okay when was the last time you went to a buffet? When was the last time I was depressed? It, um, some of the food is actually good. Which no, is it, even no, more it is. Sad. Uh, I honestly, dude, I don't. Buffets don't really do anything for me because I don't eat a lot. So, like, to pay all that money to get into a yeah, buffet kind of yeah. doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, I definitely didn't eat them. I didn't eat my money's worth. Nah, but it was just like, ah, oh, oh, we're in Vegas, might as well. Yeah, dude. I mean, when I was, I think like I said this before, but when I was in uh, college, we had this steakhouse, steakhouse called Ryan's Steakhouse, and it was a buffet. And we would get high as shit mm-hmm. and go there. Then I would eat my money's worth. I would have like yeah. I would have like a steak and crab legs and like just like three pieces of cheese, just wild shit. Just all put it like none of it even makes any sense together. Yeah, no, that's exactly how it was. I was having breakfast. I was having like slow cooked like short rib, God. crab legs, tapioca, dude, lemon fritters. Oh, what? I don't know. How was camping with the family? It was cool. I mean, it. I uh, we used to go a lot as a child. I remember seeing the exact tree that I kissed a girl at for the first time ever in seventh grade. You kissed a girl on a tree. So you've been Next like, want, you've been wanting to do freak shit outside since you were a kid. 
oh, Davy Bones Crockett. I'm out Hold here. Hold up. I'm out here. No, I've always, no, because we used to all camp there with like me and like four or five other families. We'd all go to this place in Santa Barbara. There's a campsite out there. And it, when we were driving up, I was like, oh, that's, uh, that's, we always stayed in like the same one, the yeah. same, because it's like, like cabins. Yeah. We always stayed in the same cabin. And I saw the tree. This girl, Lena, she's my first kiss. I went in for the kiss. She went in for the makeout. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, so you went in for a peck and she was like, here's my tongue, daddy. Yeah. And Second I had time to, I said, daddy. I had to adapt quickly. I had to, uh, you know. Did you even so know nervous. what you were doing? No. no so you so didn't nervous. watch my how to kiss videos? <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch it tonight. I was so nervous, but like I tried to play it cool, but dude, it was, I was probably, I was rocked up on site. 100%. <laughs> that, dude, that's when you were that young, that dude, I oh my God. I still get a little bit that way. Me too. A couple of squeezes, a couple of kisses, and you're like, well, hold up. Are they building something in my pants? There is something. <laughs> better put the cones out. We got construction workers on site. Dude, there is something. The kitchen really gets your boy. My girl's like leaning over cooking muffins, and I'm like, I will fuck you before the muffins are done. Hey! You got about a 23-minute window. <laughs> <laughs> All right? They're fast muffins. It was nice going camping, though. Uh yeah, it was cool, cool just hanging out with them. We had it was genuine, you know. And we cooked all of our meals on a fire, which was fun. Whoa! Yeah, I've never cooked a meal on a fire. Charbroiled, it's actually no. really good. Do they know? Oh, your mom's a chef. I keep my mom be out here whipping and flipping. You are? No, your my mom. mom. My yeah, mom. yeah. But it, dude, my parents are so funny. Like, I only see them in increments of like, oh, well, let's meet for dinner. Let's do a thing. But you spend like more than twelve hours with them. They're you want to kill? They're them. so married. It's insane. Oh, right. Like, it's they're just. Like, my mom could sneeze too loud. My dad would be like, oh, a warning would be nice next time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, like, startly. And my mom just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. They're like, well, I put, I put the corn here. Now the corn's not there. She's like, I don't know what to tell you. And this is what I was referring to. Just both in their iPads, not talking. Yeah, dude. That, that's also such a weird thing about parents now is they're all pretty much retired or living like just amongst themselves. So it is such a weird, like, I pick my head up. I was on vacation with my with my mom and my sister and, and the kids or whatever. And I would constantly pick my head up. My mom's not talking. And she's a very talkative person. Pick my head up. She's on Facebook. On phone. Yeah. And my it's parents are the same way. so we Like, dude, during dinner. Yeah. I'm like, dude, do you understand if I was on my, if, if phones yeah, yeah, were yeah. like existing when I was like 10, 11, 12, 13, still living in the house, my mom would beat me in the face mm -hmm. if I was on my phone. It would be like not at the table. Correct. Something. Yeah. It is interesting. It's both my parents. God. But it's just my dad's constantly being like, you know what my TikTok's full of? And I'm like, what? Bitches? And he says, Yeah. I would like, love to see what's your dad's name again? Eric. I would love to see Eric's for you page. We could probably FaceTime and he would show us. <laughs> well, I couldn't I you can't make that I can't make that happen. Well, I could FaceTime his wife and his he could he could show yeah, us something. He would definitely do it. And I'm telling you, he's told me before that it's just all like lip syncing fat tit people. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? It's just like, people go, baby, baby, just t like, it's just, it's horny. He oh, says that's dude. how he, that's how he like preheats his cock before he jerks off at two. You can FaceTime and watch TikTok together now. Oh, you can share a screen. Yeah. I saw oh, a TikTok that I need to show Michael. Can we, can, Gabe, can I airdrop to you? Yeah. It, it's, it reminds me of <laughs> Michael. Let me find it. God, I'm the worst person. Is it just like a water buffalo or something? What? I don't know. This just reminds you of me. Oh, okay. Also, guys, this is a footbed that people keep sending me. I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten twenty five messages with this footbed. Footbed is a footbed, like a like a like a brown or not brown, whatever the fuck, like a wooden footbed. Mm -hmm. Like it's exactly what it is. The bed. Oh yeah, and, and it's shaped like a foot. and it's yeah, shaped yeah, like yeah. a foot. Oh, like yeah. a love bed, but foot. Uh, I think so. Yeah, and I have, I mean, dude, fifty eight people have sent me a picture of this footbed. I can't get it. I when want was to. last time we got jerked up by a pair of feet? Literally yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that highlight. Thank you for listening to this point of the episode. We love you. Thank you so much for supporting us both. And um, just having fun. See us on tour. God bless. Gabe, jerk me off. <laughs>